Good morning. This is Andrew Sheets with The Third Heaven Traveler. The Third Heaven Traveler is a blog about our spiritual life in Jesus Christ and Him in us who believe on Him and applying this existence to our physical world. The gospel is found in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 1 through 4, King James Bible. We are saved if we believe Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures, that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. Amen. The title of this study is, is the woes to the Pharisees. The Jews are accursed by their own master who is Jesus Christ, amen. This is a study to expose Zionism and the Noahide laws, Judaism. I am overwhelmed by the explosion of the Judaizers, how they've come into this age as in the time of the church of Smyrna, when they suffered terribly, read Revelation chapter two, verse nine, and now in the church of Philadelphia, the true church today, we're dealing with it, Read Revelation chapter 3, verse 9. Those calling themselves Jews who are not, but of the synagogue of Satan, and plagued by them, the Judaizers, in the same way Paul fought mightily against them. The same spirit of the Pharisees who continually plagued and hounded like little foxes nipping and biting the grapes in the vineyard, like dogs of the circumcision that they are, always snipping at the ankles of Jesus Christ. They hate Christ people. National Israel is not God's chosen people. If you believe that, you are known as a Christian Zionist. You are an evangelical Zionist. You're probably in the same camp. I came out of that. Wake up. National Israel today, they're the parable of Matthew 21, the husbandmen. They're the evil tenant that's just minding the land. They're sharecroppers. They think that's their land. No, it belongs to Israel, the true Israel, who is the church, the Jewish remnant that will come in that during the after the time of Jacob's trouble, the tribulation saints, and of course, the Old Testament saints. Now, if this is new to you, if you just found this channel, it's all in my studies, please, please email me. Let's open, when I go into the study with prayer, dear Jesus, I pray that eyes be opened in the late moments of this time. Even so, come, Lord Jesus, amen. Maranatha. My dear sister in Christ, expose the darkness. She has a YouTube channel. Please subscribe to her channel. It's expose the darkness. Open the links here. You can see it in the description box. She posted a video that must be shared far and wide. The title is a God little G whom his fathers knew not. Watch this, it's a very short video. I urge you to watch it. This Jew here literally is claiming that real Jews are Pharisees and more than ever before. This is profound, people, this is profound. Also, uh, please subscribe to the Dutch Net Psalm. He goes into this often exposing the Judaizers, the Zionists, National Israel. So here's my comment to this video. Watch it, please, and then my comment. Woe unto the Pharisees, out of their own mouths, they confess themselves Pharisees. From their own confession, they are accursed by their master, and that's Jesus Christ. 
Read Colossians chapter 1, 16 through 20. Read Hebrews chapter 1, 3 and 4. And of course, Matthew chapter 23, verses 10 through 16. The woes to the Pharisees. The woes to the Pharisees, for it is written in Matthew 23, 10 through 16, King James Bible, neither be ye called masters, for one is your master, capital M, master, even Christ. I want to stop here. I want to focus on the word even, this adverb. You know what this word means? It means that it's used for emphasis with with Christ, denoting that this is the exact or detailed stated word for emphasis. Christ is your master, you fools. Woo, you're going to find out. And you're a mere tisfadis and all of the reprobates running around with the Yeshua and the Yahweh and the Gaya. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's Jesus. Read my studies. It's not Yeshua. Yeshua is not Jesus Christ's name. No other name where you must be saved. No, that is do all the work in the translation and study. It literally means, okay, this is Savior. That's like saying that mom, mother, don't call her mother, her name is Mary. No, her name is mother. No, I need you to know her name. Do the research, I have it in the links and studies. No, there's Christ, the Messiah, literally. Jesus Christ is the Messiah. But he that is greatest among you shall be your servant. And whosoever shall exalt himself shall be abased. And he that shall stumble himself shall be exalted. But woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye shut up the kingdom of heaven against men, for ye neither go in yourselves, neither suffer ye them that are entering to go in. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you devour widows' houses and for a pretense make long prayer. Therefore, ye shall receive the greater damnation. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye compass sea and land to make one proselyte. And when he is made, ye make him twofold more the child of hell than yourselves. Woe unto you, ye blind guides, which say, Whosoever shall swear by the temple, it is nothing. But whosoever shall swear by the gold of the temple, he is a debtor. Again, I want to thank you, dear sister Ursula, for your YouTube channel, Expose the Darkness. I'm going to share this, which I'm doing now. For additional study notes, I urge you to read these links. The Noahide Laws, they're controlling our free speech. Uh, The Shocking Departure from Doctrine by the Judaizers, the Zionists, and the Noahide Law Agenda. And yes, the Judaizers, the Zionists, and Messianic Jews, they've created another Jesus. In fact, the Lord presses on my heart. I want to show you this in this video. It's in the links. Matthew chapter 121, and she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. Yeshua and Yahweh, yes, the Judaizers, the Zionists, the Messianic Jews have created another name, aka Jesus, other, instead of saying Jesus, and if I've taken several languages from Chinese to German, including my wife's native language of Vietnamese, and the word always, always comes back to the Greek, Jesus, his name, not his mission, not his purpose, his 
name is not Savior. His name is Jesus. That's like me calling a person by their professional existence, a teacher instead of the mother's name. We need to understand and we need to be outraged by the serpent creeping into the church of the Judaizers than we are by, I stated, people were going in, into an outrage about the male boxer competing against women in the Olympics. We have to take this, and yes, we're outraged by the things we see, but we need to look at the more important things, the actual things, and this is lifting up the name of Jesus always. The Judaizers' deception and how they use Yeshua, not Jesus. Please read and understanding that. They're going after the Christians with Judaism. Judaism is the Judaizers' work. The full assault of the Judaizers is the Antichrist spirit in this last time. You have to understand. That's why I have the extensive studies. Continually, I do the extensive studies in here. And you have to understand the uh, work that I've done about exposing Amir Tisfati. He's not a brother in Christ. He's a ravenous wolf in sheep's clothing. You have to understand the whole Noahide global agenda about this kosher pig darkness of this Rabbi Yatsik Shapira. He is the king daddy of the Noahide movement. They're sweeping in the church in this last day. This Yeshua deception of Amir Tisfati, it's such an evil, subtle trap. A Christian can say, oh, but Jesus, his last name is Christ. That's his name, Christ. That means Messiah. That's what they're saying when the Jews know it's Jesus is the Messiah and going back, come back to the study here. I want to click back what they're doing when Jesus Christ is addressing the Pharisees. He said, your master, even Christ, function on Christ. That is saying to the Jews, your Messiah that you call the Messiah, and Messiah means what? What is Christ, the anointed one, the Messiah? That's the Savior. That is, I am he standing here. It's Jesus. So don't get caught in that little hook that the devil deceives the carnal mind. No, may your mind be renewed with the word of God. May your mind be enlightened. I pray over all listeners right now, the Lord put this on my heart. I want to open up Ephesians. I want to pray for those few that come out from among them, that the eyes of your understanding read with me in Ephesians chapter 1, verse 18. Let's start with 17, that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give you the spirit of wisdom and revelation and the knowledge of him. Thou of that preposition, Jesus Christ is God. He is the body, just as the Father abiding in him functions as the very spirit of his very being. I pray that the eyes of your understanding listener could be enlightened. In verse 18, it says that ye may know what is the hope of his calling. That is our Lord Jesus Christ and what the riches of his glory, of his inheritance in the saints. And what is the exceeding greatness of his power to us word who believe according to the working of his mighty power, which the spirit of God himself, this is he, wrought in Christ when he raised him from the dead and set him at his own right hand in the heavenly places. That does not mean an old man daddy got up there sitting in a throne next to Jesus in his little diaper sitting next to King Daddy on his right hand. No, in the, the metaphor at the right hand is literally a metaphor meaning all power and authority is given unto Jesus Christ. Read Colossians 1.16, it's very clear through verse 20. I will close this study now. I pray in these last few moments, these last few moments, may eyes be opened, I pray, Lord. Even so, come, Lord Jesus, amen, Maranatha.